Okay, this this video uh, is going to examine the uh, ev anything and everything that deals with um, setup. Uh, whether you're setting up your company, you know your basic company information, how you want the proposal to look, uh, company markups, uh, and then as well as editing, um, changing pricing, or updating equipment. Uh, and we will examine that um, here within the program. I invite you to check out some of our other videos that, that explore other parts of the program, such as building proposals, um, you know, customizing templates, or, or setting up your presentation, some of the different reports that the program um, allows you to, to complete in the sales process. This one here is going to sort of be the backbone um, of the program. Uh, when you first get it, you're going to be setting up your company, your markups. You know, we really can't start printing proposals until that stuff um, is set up. So where we're at, we're going to focus on everything under the company uh, on the menu bar up here at the top. Now we're under company setup now. Now the key thing to remember, all of these blue boxes in here, anytime you see a blue box, um, you can type in there. Uh, so if you want to change your company name or phone number, email, uh, you simply type in there. Um, and you can you can overwrite that. You can put in as many salespeople as you want down here. You can start uh, at whatever pr proposal number you're gonna you're gonna use, whether you're using numbers, last names, however you want. You'll see a bunch of different checkboxes down here at the bottom. Uh, for instance, if you don't want to show models on the proposal, or if you don't want to uh, show tonnage or uh, a size of your unit, you can do that. There's just some some generic text boxes down there on things that you can hide uh, when you create your proposal. We have a few different spots you can put logos um, in the program. Um, again, the program is almost completely customizable how you can set it up. The splash screen is the opening screen of the, propo uh, the program. The proposal screen is where we generate uh, the bid. Your dealer logo, your MFG logo, those deal with your proposal uh, and you can use uh, your company logo, you can show a, a train carrier Bryant logo um, if you wish as well. Those deal with the, the default system. If I go to the second tab here, you're going to see print setup. Uh, this is just some of your legal verbiage, your acceptance, um, some things that you may or may not include uh, in your company benefits. Again, if you're using the default proposal, uh, this is where you can edit any of this uh, verbiage in here. You'll also see a bunch of different check boxes over here on the right. If you don't want to show decimals, you can round your total price. Uh, just little things like that. Markups is going to be the biggest thing that you're focused on. Whether you're using multiplier, whether you're using gross margin, if you only want a 35% gross margin across the board, uh, you can put 35% uh, across the board, and then the program is going to calculate it. This is how your proposal or how the program is going to calculate um, your ultimate price it's going to use your margins, your multipliers, which are the same thing. We do have two other options in here. Obviously you can put in your your tax rates and then we have another section where you can put in some discount codes if you have special customers, if you deal with financing, things like that to allow for um, additional multipliers above and beyond um, your basic, basic multiplier. From there what we're really going to focus on uh, under company is going to be your data. Now within the program, there's really two main there's two main databases that we are using. Uh, you're going to see installation database and equipment database. Now your equipment database is going to be your bigger equipment, uh, the equipment that's associated with your bigger brands, your air conditioners, your heat pumps, your furnaces. You'll see here uh, that I'm under train. I have my different families. You're going to see the different models that I have in the family. So I have a one and a half ton, a two ton, a two and a half ton. Now this this one and a half ton unit is priced at sixteen hundred dollars and seventy six or sixteen hundred I'm sorry one thousand six hundred and seventy six dollars. Now if I needed to change that price to seventeen fifty I just type in seventeen fifty I click add update now that unit in my program is going to be seventeen fifty until it is changed again. If I want to use additional multipliers on certain families of equipment, your high-end equipment um, or your your accessories or your options for say, you're allowed to do that. 
Um, you can also put in new models. Let's say train comes out with a, instead of an 18, it's a 19. Um, you can do that, and this one's going to be 1775. I can add that record. Now I have that model in my list. So as far as customizing equipment or adding new equipment, um, you can see how easy it is with all of these blue text boxes within the system. Now this is the equipment data. This is the stuff that we primarily put in for you. Uh, when you purchase the program, you send us your equipment, whether it's a PDF, whether it's Excel spreadsheet, we can pretty much work with anything. Uh, we customize this and then it's emailed back to you. So uh, if, if you're thinking, oh, I have to sit down and, and input all of this information, no, it's, it's going to be preloaded for you based on your pricing and based on the equipment that you would like to put um, into the program. Um, the other database that I was referencing is your installation data. Now this is all of your uh, your accessories, uh, your different um, categories as you can see here, gas line, labor, pad. We're going to choose the pad category for instance. Um, this three inch furnace pad, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Um, I don't need that in my category. Uh, of pads anymore uh, so we got rid of that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and click clear screen now my tag is still pad what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a new condenser pad here just to give you an idea of how easy it is to add equipment if you need to so in my part number here I'm gonna call it test pad one in my description I'm gonna type in uh, condenser pad 30 by 36 and my material cost is going to be 5750. At that point I click add record and now you're going to see that item that I add I just added to my database. Well now when I go to the proposal screen you'll see here when I click on the condenser pad in the picture there is my test pad that I just added to the system. I could add that to my system um, or it's going to be in there from here on out. Um, going back to the company again, we have uh, there is one more little database that you'll deal with a little bit um, as far as warranties and rebates, um, and you'll see that here. Um, warranties you just put in a brand, a part number. Same thing with rebates. You have a net cost. You have what the the rebate to the customer is going to show up as. Um, so you do have some options um, as far as equipment. Again very easy very easy to set up very easy to customize everything can be done under company setup um, so just to recap you know if, if we go to company setup I have to keep resizing my screen here if we go to company setup you're gonna see some of your basic stuff such as markups how you want your items priced things like that if you get into data entry that's sort of where you're changing pricing or your customizing descriptions, putting in parts that may not be in the system, um, little things like that. The key thing again to remember, anything that's got a blue box is a text box. You can type in and click update and it will be in your system from here on out. Um, this this uh, video was about um, sort of equipment entry, setting up your company. Um, again, once you purchase the program, we try to put in all of your pricing and, and really help you set it up. Uh, once all that stuff's in there, you set up your markups and you're off and running printing proposals. Uh, very quick turnaround time um, on the program. If you do have any questions about this program or any of our other programs or how anything works, feel free to give us a call at 815-452-2345. Uh, or you can send us an email at support at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.